as somebody that was able to give back to the community, man, what was that like for you when you got the money and you found yourself saying, let me go back in this community and make it better for everybody else that's in this thing, man? Um, I had to slow down so I didn't go broke like MC Hammer. <laughs> okay, I let's was, go there. Talk to me about that. I was bonding everybody out of jail. If you knew me and went to jail, you was coming home. I think my homeboys <laughs> was getting... Driving with no license just because they knew I'd bond them up. <laughs> Man, you know your license is suspended. Stop driving. It's crazy stuff. That's just crazy. You know, if I felt like, I, I, that's what I felt like at the time. It's like I got it. So anybody I need to help, help, I'm going to help. Oh, you can't pay your rent? Man, I'm going to pay your rent. Come to me with your problem. I'm going to call my sister and she's going to write you a check right now. Hey. And I'm gonna feel good about it. I feel so good. I feel, I feel better than that going to buy Gucci and all of that. I feel like, yeah. Yeah. You know. And I had to slow down with that. What was that like having to slow down? Because when you do find that money and you're trying to bless folks left and right, because you're thinking to yourself, that's what I had the money for to help folks. But then you got to think. Now nah, you get your, sta- your statements, and it's like you spent 300000 this month. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm on the balcony when they, they you know, yeah, you spent 300 this month. I'm on the balcony like, man, I need to jump off of here. What am I doing? <laughs> I did what? Okay, send every Call my road manager. Hey, we got like 16 people on the road with us. Send everybody home. It's just going to be me and you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys spent way too much money this month, last month, bro. Yeah. It's over with. Ain't no more hangouts. <laughs> Now I want the homeboys who could bring something to the table and help me get some money. We could get some money together. So it ain't all on me, man. I ain't the big trick. (laughs) Hey, what were some of the biggest lessons that you learned? So that's one of them right there. You can't MC hammer the money and save the whole neighborhood. What were some of the other things that you picked up as far as business and then maneuvering in the industry as well, man? Um, business wise, I picked up that you gotta know how to how to flip money. Everybody tell me I'm a rapper, I'm a singer, and I just I'm gonna keep making songs. Do you know how to take three hundred thousand of that money that you got? I'm talking about the biggest rappers in the game right now, who got twenty million. Do you know how to take a million of that money you got and make that million make you some money? Do you know how to do that? Or are you just gonna keep getting rap money to rap money gone and then try to figure something out? That's the question, you know. Yeah, now nah, we gotta you. be able to. You gotta know what to do with the money. You can't just get the money and just let the money sit there and pile up and keep rapping. No, nah, man, you gotta go get you some land and real estate. Turn up. That's why you got this boost. How the hell did you learn that though, Chris? Because everybody don't pick because, that game up. Because I had a CEO that that was that told me I'm finna make it to where you ain't popping no more. So now I understand that you gotta be in control. You got to have the, a real deal bag, Jack. Yep. And now, that's how we coming. With a real deal bag, Jack. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. Yeah. So now, I want to talk about the time from that point when you walked away from the music, though, man. Did you have any uh, just pent up? Uh, did, was it a relief or a release when you walked away? Or was it? The big homie, the big homie, the big homie, the big homie. Wow, man, the big homie grabbed me and he's like, man, you gotta, he, he gave me a whole new way to look at everything. Jay Prince. Ah. Jay Prince. Oh, I'm, I just moved. The I, Godfather. I just up and moved to Houston. I just moved to Houston, you feel me? What the hell Jay Prince say? Because I know he came with the game. He met me in Shreveport and when he seen what I was going through, he told me, um, I think he said, just pull up on me in Houston. I pulled up on him. I never left Houston. I was there for three years. What kind of game did he lay on you, though, Chris? Because, I mean, he got it all. The stuff that I'm talking about right now. (laughs) I get it. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. He ain't never relied on the music industry to to, to make his radio play. Yeah. He always had the bag. They was trying to dance with him. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like mm -hmm. just, just... Just seeing what was happening mm-hmm. gave me a better understanding of what I was able to achieve mm. and what, what was possible for me. What connected me more to what my roots was capable of. Mm. Hold up. Man, we got something inside of us to where we don't need nobody. We really bossed up on a whole nother level. We kings. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? 
time to be a real boss, you know. What was that time in Houston like though, man? Man, it was it was it was it was it was one of the most rememberable times in my life. Yeah. Um homie showed big love, like picked me up and just took me out through the city every day and um his son, Junior. I spent a lot of time with Junior. Um it's just Houston was a it was different, bro. We was in a club until ten AM <laughs> every night. God damn. I had heard stories about, you know, how they stay up late out there, but bro, we was up to ten in the morning. I'm in a club, you know, with J Prince Junior. We coming from the club. I'm sleeping in the car. It's daylight outside. You know. Um just a lot of a lot of a lot of learning for me. Um I'm a big learner. If uh-huh. I sit around you for enough time, mm-hmm. I'ma tune in and try to learn as much as I can learn. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Um I like family oriented people. Um a lot of people in Houston they family oriented. So I actually had cousins out there as well. So I was real comfortable out there and, and like I say, the people I was around, they, they opened their arms to me and and just made it a home for me. Atlanta, Houston, Shreveport, what were your favorite places to live, man? Probably Houston. Okay. Every time I came in a the club, they gave me a different name. <laughs> and on Friday, I was Bentley Her- <laughs> Bentley Chris. <laughs> Saturday, I was Maserati Chris. <laughs> I feel Sunday, that. Um, this and that. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I, I got caught up in the nightlife bad though. I had to I had to catch myself. Okay. I was so spending a real check in Houston. Talk to me about that nightlife and then just partying and just enjoying yourself though, man. Because I mean you ain't really got to work like that like you had to beforehand. You went on no clock and yeah. you still got the money. So yeah. I mean, what was that freedom like, man? Man, I came out there, I'm like, how much that car cost? I want one of them. How much that cost? I want one of them. How much they got they got them? Let me get one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of house this is we in, man? Who got you this? Call them for me, man. I'm yeah. one of these two. <laughs> hey, one, who made that chain? Let's go to that jeweler, man. I'm finna get one of them. Yeah. You know, so it was just like it, they already had a, a a a culture and 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 a way of doing things set up. So it was like as soon as you ask somebody, everything you wanted was right there at your fingertips. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? H yeah. Town is that city for that. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. Now, I know we got videos on the way, new music on the way. What's popping? That dope video about to happen. What's going on? Yeah, um, a lot of the questions you was asking me, I got a video called Dope where I'm really telling a story. Ooh. It's about to drop real soon. And, and within, like, it's, well, it's probably out now. Yeah. It's out now. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out ASAP. I mean, making that song dope then, you got to break it out. You got to break to it Miami, out. I went to Miami, bro, um, after everything, um, everything transpired. transpired. I, I was in Miami. Just I said I need to. I need to just lay back and you know, kick it around the people I love. Me and I, you know, my closest family. Yeah. We all just went out there and we we stayed for probably two weeks and um, I decided to just you know shoot a video and 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 tell my story while I was there randomly. Yeah. I just called the videographer like, hey, where you at? He was all the way out here in Atlanta. <laughs> Fool with the camera. Yeah. Flew him straight out. He landed with the red cam. Ooh. We went straight to work, bro. I said, you know, I got something. This the song. I just want to go ahead and get a word list so they can know what's up with me. Exactly.